Thank you, trustee. Thank you, sir. Good, y'all. I enjoy your work. Thank you very much, ma'am. I appreciate you. I appreciate it. Try to get y'all a shot up front. So we are first officially in undercover, bro. Right? What do you mean undercover? That's love, Kendra. What's today, the ninth? You get on my nerves, Kendra. You <laughs> get on my nerves. <laughs> Yes, there is a decent line of people. Um, there is breaking news about Angela Holmes. You can officially say his name now. Trustee Belcher, I think I believe I saw. Yeah, Trustee Belcher is in the building. Trustee Belcher, weed him in. There we go. I'm gonna put you on the stand for right now. Hold on for the ride. <laughs> so right now for media, it, it looks appears it's just me and Channel 5 right now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, hit that like button. We got like 400 people in here, bro. Unrivaled coverage. You want it, right? Share the link out. Tiffany will be here, and we got this Andrew News. Andrew Holmes News is huge. Just came out. Yep. Yeah, and they can now if we're going now I'm going for Oh, what's your name? Okay. I'm Shay. Okay. A lot of people. Okay. Yeah, I under, I tro totally understand. Absolutely. Appreciate it, sir. So far, I see Trusty Belcher, Trusty, and Trusty Belcher, and uh, Wiedemann, Miss Wiedemann. Yep, yep. How you doing? How's your, what's your, oh, oh. I'm going to turn, I'm. I better let you know that you can when we go. Right, right, right. What's up? Yeah. What's your name? Dwayne. Okay. All right. Okay, Shay. All right. Yep, yep. The boy, the boy here. So yeah, your boy here, your your favorite favorite. Yeah. You don't want to get old, oldest man. Oldest, the security guard. You don't want to get mad. Mm -mm. <laughs> he don't even know he a whole celebrity for real. I rock with him. I like on, on anything. I rock with him for real. <laughs> Hit the like button, bro. Meeting will be starting here in probably about a few minutes. Yeah. Preppy, I appreciate you. What up, Steve? Say what's up to you, boy. We got a second. It's not as hectic as the last one. I believe I see trusty Stan Brown. I believe that's what I see now. <laughs> you made it. Yeah, you made it. <laughs> well, I'm not. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. Can you see? Is that Stan? Stan with the ball cap? Okay. Yeah, so we got Stan Brown is here. Daffy Duck himself. So. What up, Chad? Hope all is well. There goes Chris Gonzalez. <laughs> I know, right, Louis? Yeah. Oh, Make sure you get my book signed. I promise I will. I promise you. I ain't playing. No, I got you. Uh, <laughs> my good side. <laughs> Not this damn thing. The other one. The other one side. The other side. Got you. Fucking migraine hit me on this side. So if you put this side, you gotta say this was the fucking migraine too. <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> you for real? That's a, you're not joking? A migrant hit you with a car? Do she, you think I'm a fucking comedian? She's laughing. Because y'all go <laughs> I was on my way to work. Where? 
to hit me, I woke up 15 days later. I said, damn, that was an easy day work. Well, I'm glad you woke up. Oh, you, you know what? <laughs> Well, I'm going to pray. I'm going to keep praying. Oh, yeah. That... Oh, this trap door is all through this one. I love the people here, man. Everybody here been so nice. I'm Rob Recovery. Just for the record, media is not messing with this one. It's me and Sean, Regina Waldrick is here. Regina Waldrick. So it's me, Regina Waldrick, and a, and a camera. Oh, there go your boy. Yeah, we know him. What up, Rhonda? Yeah, nope. Um, for the record. For the record. Uh, the police were amazing. Um, the, po the police told me that they would let media in at, six, at 645. They let media in at 645. The officer was extremely uh, nice. He was, uh, you know, it was, it was no no type of static whatsoever. I got in, no, no, no hassle whatsoever. So I did want to say that there's zero house hassle out here in South Hall. That's what it is. Hold on, y'all. Now, my phone is a little crooked for my life. Hood TV, you know what it is. Yeah, it was more media yesterday. Now, there seems to be some cameras. That looks like their official recordings. Hannibal, what's happening? I will flip the camera around here shortly. Mayor Henyard is here confirmed. And I'm a, I'm gonna raise the camera once once they get started. They do got us in, they don't have us in, they didn't do us as good media-wise as the other one. Right now, I would say it's probably, it's probably 50%-ish right now. And it, it appears that everybody that was trying to come in is in already. Everybody trying to come in is in already. Yes, ma'am. Shout out to Miss Mary in the building. Miss Mary putting that work in with the media. Putting that work in. Miss Mary over there putting that work in with the media. She already got me. She don't have to. I, I talked to Miss Mary outside. Come on, Hannibal. I DJ standing up for six hours. This is easy. This is actually in a, this is like going to a standing room only concert. This is a standing room only concert. Thank you any very more much. Media? If you see any more media, let me know. Thank you very much. For immediate release, we, we got breaking news.
Just read it to yourself. I'm gonna go slow. Best I can. If I'm going too fast, screenshot it. Hardeman, are you listening? T.O. Hardeman, former Dalton property owner and executive, executive director for Violence Interrupters. He said that... <laughs> he said... He said if, if uh, Mayor Lightfoot want to do it for $400 an hour, he's willing to do it for zero. Yeah, but who are you, though? I hear that. But who are you? So, Hannibal, this is an official press release that they just handed out to the media. Mayor Tiffany Henry, who has passionately served Dalt without any conviction or wrongdoing, is facing allegations and scrutiny largely amplified by media and social media platforms with significant contributions from voices outside or with significant contributions from voices outside the community it is critical i can't read with y'all chat popping up it is critical to remember that allegations are not convictions and the presumption of innocence until proven guilty remains a foundational principle of our justice system in light of this i'm proposing an alternative approach to address the current situation one that emphasizes reconciliation community involvement and the expertise of individuals deeply rooted in our community's fabric i am offering say, say thank you very much yeah mr hardeman come over here mr hardeman come holler that was who was talking to me when he came in Mr. Hardeman, come back over here so I can holler at you right quick. Let me talk to you, pimp. Nah, Shay, nah, nah, it'd be quick. Nah, it ain't gonna hurt. It ain't gonna hurt. Man, Hardeman, wild, bro. So. And your quest to get them to not use, so you're like, hey, I'm Tiffany Henry's buddy. I'll investigate this shit for free. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Bro, this is wild. That's wild. I, I think I've seen it all. They just handed out a press release for some other dude that's Tiffany Homie. No wonder he came up talking to me, talking about, yeah, Andrew, my God, but you know, wish you the best. And no, no. How? So you just admitted that Andrew was your dude. Why the fuck would we elect? Why would we have you? Y'all heard him on camera. The dude that said that Andrew was his homie. That's who sent this press release. Yeah, that's wild, bro. Yeah, it's all it's all types of wild. So remember what I was telling you about Lori Lightfoot. Look, bro, they they literally got a replacement for her the next day. They like, look, we got a. Not only do we got a replacement, we got somebody that'll do it for free. I want you to trust me, bro. Here come, here come Daphne. I hope Daphne won't go past this camera. Come on, Daphne. Oh, he popped that in. Now, for the record, Otis is just chilling, drinking a Pepsi. Just chilling, drinking a Pepsi. Any more media people? Chilling, drinking a Pepsi. So right now it's kind of like some slow on. Bro, we got, hold on. There's only 272 likes and there's 1,300 people in here. I'm the only person here. So <laughs> understand I'm about to be flexed. Or, or, you know, Channel 5 got y'all.
Let me get my lightweight charger out. Because I'm going to have to do some maneuvering. You guys aren't missing anything. Nothing started. I just don't want to be... I'm not just going to sit and show residents on camera. There's no reason. Literally no reason. All right, switch to the lightweight charger. So it fit in my shirt. Shout out to the Dalton trustees. Y'all know where I went for lunch? Take a guess where I went for lunch. Just guess. Where would you guess? What's a Pablo's, fool? Pablo's is on point, bro. Oh, you can eat tacos on Tuesday? Bro, I pulled up the placebos. I was at Plavos getting it in, bro. We was over there at Placebos. It was on point. Them jerk chicken, them jerk chicken tacos were the best. Shout out to Chili. Shout out to Big G. Shout out to uh, shout out to the Silver Fox. Shout out to the Silver Fox. Pablo's held your boy down. They held me down. I cannot lie. I promise you. All you can eat tacos at Plavo's. It's a roof crisp. <laughs> Get the municipality. Get the municipality. Municipality <laughs> tacos. I would have. I would have the hoodie on. It's too hot for it. There's a couple people. Now, this meeting is not as fat as the golf. It's not. There's, uh, there's really only two other people sitting in the meeting. I only ate three. I ate, bro, it was cool. I sat up there. Uh, Trusty Belcher is here. And Trusty uh, Stan Brown is here. Sandra was having. Well, I don't know if they had hard shell, but I, I look, they make them right. They got the stuff, but like, you go up to the chick, and she makes the tacos for you. And when I say she make them, she got a griddle where she heats up the tortillas and shit, and then uh, all the stuff, and then like a million different toppings. I'll share pictures. I'll share pictures. Pl placebos was jumping, bro. Y'all gotta go to Plavos, bro. Or Pablo's, and I and I met your boy. You know, you know the guy that always stands up, the owner of uh, Pablo's. I met him today. He cool as shit. I talked to the workers. The workers said they lying like a motherfucker. They said it don't be no problems over there, and literally the police come and start. So, um, oh, young boy, remember NBA young boy? Hit the like button. Do you remember NBA Young Boy? From here? Like three feet from me. Like three feet. Go on my mom. I feel like I'm Gucci Man in 2006. Man, one of these ladies better bring me a water. Yeah, young boy. That's how we do so. I had I had jerk chicken tacos. They were spicy and they were good. I ate lunch with Trusty Brown, Tammy, Trusty Norwood, and Trusty Belcher. It was a great time. It was a great time to spend some time with my ladies. Those are my ladies. I do not see Jedediah. I would have figured he would have been here first. 
Yeah, hey, hey, I'm here. Mac Townsend in the building. What's up, family? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm in the media space, but it ain't as much media as yesterday. I went to Pop. I went to uh, Pablo's, aka Plabos, aka Placebos. D. Freeman. D. Put the thief in the chat. When I tell you that I've been talking around the city, I know Jedediah got, you know, he's supposed to have that break of news or whatever. That's it. Hit the like button. I promise. I will just mute the microphone as soon as you come out. I'm the only person here, and I'm going to pull rank like I am. Just going to do it. Well, there were no stall tactics, apartment head. There were no stall tactics, you know what I mean? Trusty Brown is officially in the building. How you doing? Oh, good. You, here, you can tell him, huh? Good evening. How you doing, man? I, I got one hand. I, got, I ain't got no hands. I, I just want you to think I was this. Huh? I want to sneak this. <laughs> Shout out to Trusty Brown, the builder. Hannibal. I, as soon as this, I'm, co I'm going home tomorrow, Hannibal. I'm going to hit you. I, I'm about to blow your mind, sir. I'm going to blow, when I tell you I'm going to, I'm going to blow his mind, y'all. Pause. I guess I have to say pause. It's 17 of the people. Hit the like button. I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. I ain't gonna lie, I just knew Jedediah was gonna be here. I'm actually surprised. I mean, Chris Gonzalez is smaller in person. Not just like shorter, he's small. Anybody smaller than me feels small. Big shout out to Hannibal's Hungry in the building. Make sure y'all following. We are waiting. Uh, I think it starts at 6.30 or whatever. Okay. Regina, this is... And did, Have you heard the news about Andrew Holmes? Press one for yes, two for no. Hit the like button, bro. Hey, I'm God, son. I don't have to worry. Uh, so, news is broke, and there will never, you will never hear the words unnamed trustee again. You will hear Andrew Holmes. News just broke not that long ago, right before I went live. You will never, you, you're not gonna hear. You're not gonna hear that no more. Hey, y'all. So we out here. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna mute y'all.
All right, I'm back. Hey, let me let's, let's go over some ground rules right quick. See, I know a lot of y'all ain't subscribed to my channel. That's why you're not hitting the like button and all that stuff. But let me explain something to you. Respect. Respect. Mr. Gonzalez, how you doing? Shay with Late Night Crew. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I saw you guys right there yesterday, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I was not around. I watched, so I watched, actually, I watched most of it. I, mean, I think on your feed, maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But I, I caught it, so yeah. Okay. Every now and then, I got to go away for a little while. I mean, not quite. Like, right. Ohio for work and stuff. So right. I was out there and then I made it back for today. But yeah, yeah, so I was able to watch it. You think we can get a comment after the meeting? Yeah. Thank you very much, no sir. Problem. Appreciate it. No problem. Yeah, now there's two meetings. I don't know if you know. I'm going to be for both no, of them. No, I'm just saying, yeah, yeah. okay. Thank I think you. we'll be here all night, but I know, listen, listen, I think there's going to be a little thing with the public comment. Okay. I think you're going to try to not do it. Is it right? So we'll see how that goes. Okay. Thank you very kind much. Of one sir. of those things when you get into the meeting, you don't know. Right. You know, <laughs> what's going on? Yeah. Oh. So, you, did y'all hear that? Breaking news from Chris Gonzalez. They're trying to eliminate public comment. Oh, this is about to get good, bro. This is about to get good, bro. It's about to get good, bro. I read that. What time was it? Of course. So we technically late. We 19 minutes late. We'll see. Well, one reason is that Lori Lightfoot shit. And the biggest reason is this Andrew Holmes thing. That's what it's like. Because the heavy hitters, the heavy hitters of Dalton, as far as the community go, they here. They here. I want to shout out Pablo's one more time, bro. On some real Pablo's. They treated the late night crew like family, bro. I just get, I want to make sure I say that multiple times. No. Of what? Like. What on earth is going on? <laughs> Jay Jones of the building, yo, yo, we in here, yo. Can't get that shit at the store, baby. Can't get it at the store. You gotta know somebody. You gotta know somebody. Know somebody. Yes, it is. It, that just got confirmed to me. Yeah, we not monetized right now. We are literally demonetized. I got demonetized covering this shit, bro. But I'm God's son, and I don't have to worry about money like that, right? So that's why I really just want y'all to hit the like button. If you got an extra dollar to, you can hit the link in the description to support us during the time of the monetization while we travel the country to actually report on Dalton from all angles. Now, donation is not required. This is not, I'm not putting up a paywall. But I need you to hit the like button for me, please, please. Thank you very much. Word on the street is she's trying to block the public comment right now. Shout out to Arkansas. We got we got almost 2,100 people in here. Mayor Henry is here, but she has not come out yet. Uh, Trustee Belcher is here. Trustee Stan Brown is here. Trustee Tammy Brown is here. I saw Miss Mary. 
obviously you've seen the LNC drip. Yes, ma'am? <laughs> I appreciate it. I, I'm so humbled by that. I really am. I, I appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. I promise I will. I promise I will. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. This is what she did when she walked off. She said. <laughs> we out in these streets, bro. We out in these streets, bro. Can we get to a thousand likes, man? We got 2,200 people in here, bro. We drove all the way across, well, we didn't drive, but we traveled all the way across the country. For last night and tonight, I said that we would do it, and we did. Jaber, what's happening? Uh, Andrew Holmes is officially named in the lawsuit. He is no longer, uh-oh. And the wig is fresh, bro. I heard Lacey be at these meetings, but I have not seen him. Hey, boo. Yes, I am. According to who? According to who? The fuck I ain't. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I ain't going to lie. I I got my whole press bag, bro. This is my company. I'm an independent journalist. Oh, wait, wait. You can't be here. Because you got to have a press badge. Of course. A press badge from where? Who issues a press badge? I don't know who issues. I, I just got it from... Then how how do I get one if you can't... How... how I'm media. Look, how, how, you don't have a press badge. I don't need a press badge to be media. Yeah, me no, I don't. Yes, you need a press badge. No, I don't. Uh, yeah, they make it. I don't need a press badge. That's, you just made that up, bro. I don't no, need a press badge. Oh, okay. Please. Please. I need a press badge to be press. They're, they don't issue press badges. Yeah. Shake like I got it. I appreciate you. Okay. Oh, I I knew I recognized. Yeah. Yeah. I, I seen some of your videos. I watched your interview that you did with Chris uh, yeah. Chris Gonzalez. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Getting your shit 
What's the name of your YouTube channel? Late Night Crew. Late Night Crew. Yep. Um, yeah. Appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we good, bro. I ain't going nowhere. They tried it. And I saw who did it, too. Punk ass nigga. I think they're trying to figure it out, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> Try to figure it out. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what the answer is. <laughs> Hit the like button, bro. You see the suppression. You see the suppression. What's up? They already tried to kick me out. They already tried to kick me out. Oh, really? I ain't going to work. I'm not going to work. All right. I don't see anybody else in line. I'm assuming that everyone has a electric car. If you don't, again, go to the back. To my left, your right. And make sure you get one if you don't have one.
Uh, just so you know how it works, uh, we will vote on a moderator. The moderator will vote the day to day and relate to this meeting. And then you guys will have the opportunity to vote. I'm just asking questions. I ain't mad at you, bro. I don't know the rules, but they don't want you up there. Like Who's saying this so I can know who I can say this to? So whoever who say this, they're violating my First Amendment rights. Okay. Where do I get this ID from? That's not a real thing. That's not the Constitution. That's not a real thing. They're, going, they're, 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 they're getting you in trouble. I'm just telling you. They're going to get you in trouble. That's why they're telling you to do it, and they're not doing it. Blatant suppression. The, all right. Blatant media suppression. Y'all see evening, everyone. 3, people clerk, well, for the Great record, job. in accordance with state statutes, legal notice of the annual meeting was published in the Citizen and Daily South Town newspaper. Notices of this meeting were posted and published and appeared in Thornton Township South Holland Building, including Zach, Matt, I'm sorry, Thornton Township Riverdale Building, Thorn Township Calumet City Building. Also for the record, the state law limits active participate, participation in the annual town meeting to registered voters residing within Thornton Township. Therefore, anyone wishing to make a motion, second a motion, ask a question, make a comment, or otherwise address this chair must state clearly their full name and address for verification of residency. Now, I'm asking for nominations from the floor for a moderator to conduct this meeting. I'll make a nomination for Stephanie Wiedemann. Okay, one at a time, if you can come to the... I'll first. <laughs> <laughs> Please state your name and address. Okay, hold on. Can we get the mic on, please? Parker, 162, Fort Black State Street, South Holland, Illinois. Thank you. Nominate. I nominate Stephanie Williams, Fort Black Illinois. May I have a second? Second. Okay. Do we have any nominations? Any more nominations? May I have a second? You can't make it up. Evan Harmon, 1355, Green Bay Avenue, Cayman City, Illinois. I second that. Thank you. Are there any other nominations on the floor? Nominations are closed. I will ask for a vote by the show of your yellow elector card. All those in favor to elect Stephanie Wiederman to moderate at this annual town meeting, please raise your card. And keep them raised until I say, put them down. Please raise your yellow card. All opposed? Okay. Now we're going to do it next. I just need to count. Okay. All those in favor of nominating Tanika Hughes, please raise your card.
polls. Yeah, that's his, his job description. It's literally just block the camera. That's what he told me. All right. The moderator for today's meeting will be Stephanie Wiedemann. Can you raise your right hand and repeat after me? I say your name. Do solemnly swear. I will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of moderator, of moderator at this town meeting to the best of my ability. Oh no. Yeah, they blatantly violated my my mob for four thousand people right, to watch. It's the funniest shit ever. Funniest thing I've ever seen. They gonna tell you they didn't tell you to do that too. <laughs> They gonna tell you they didn't tell you to violate my rights. Too. They gonna throw you smooth under the bus. I don't know where I'm at. Y'all know who I am. No, I, I'm, bro. He's doing. I'm promise. I'm not mad at him. He's doing what he's supposed to. I, I don't expect him to get fired. He don't know me, bro. He, he's doing what he's supposed to. He's fine. I, I'm. I'm just fine. Nothing's happening right now. That's why I'm just waiting.
No, like nothing's happening right now. So I'm just holding on. I'll pick the camera back on when there's something going on. Hit the like button, bro. No worries. <laughs> oh, the bars are in the building. The bars are in the building. I'm fine, I promise you. I'm okay, I promise you. I promise you. That's what I'm saying. I hate they doing it to them though. Like, I'm, it's real.
Let's just some report, bro. Y'all yeah, okay, bro. I know exactly what happened. The following is a statement by the people in Shane Supervisor for the town, let's go right, the county, the state court case. The amount of funds received in the state by her during the fiscal year just closed, ending on the 29th day of February 2024, showing the amount of other funds on hand at the commencement of the state fiscal year. The amount of other funds received and for what sources received, the amount of other funds received and for what purposes spent. Is he media? Can we get clarification, please? How is he media and I'm not? Versus badge. So y'all just made that up? Pretty much? Got you. I got you. I probably should let Keith know. Another meeting member's over here with no badge. Jedediah is in the building. So don't let them do you like that. I'm not going to do you dirty. But I promise other people will. Don't let them don't let them make you violate people's rights, bro. Because they're gonna blame you for it. March 1, 2003 from February 29th, 2024. Administration division. Total administration division. Two million nine hundred seventy-two thousand four hundred two dollars and eighty-one cents. Relief division. Total relief division. One hundred twenty-three thousand three hundred fifty-eight dollars and twenty-eight cents. instead of the police officer, because the police officer wouldn't get qualified by a million. He is, Hannibal. He ain't police. Police sent him to do this foolishness. Because they know he would do it.
Thank you. Now we're going to yeah. open up the floor for any questions and comments. Uh, okay, so we need a motion to approve the general assistance report as read. Not yet. Somebody make a motion? Now we can open up the floor for comments and questions. Good afternoon, my name is Alvin Quinn, C-R-I-V-E-N-S, for Portland Well, I'm sorry, you have to be able to know it. Just have one question. To me, it sounds like the general fund has a first fund and not a deficit. I just want to give a clarification. Uh, the required gift rate was the general assistance fund, and yet they had a surplus this year. Uh, that amount was um, four four million two hundred eight thousand three hundred ninety dollars and forty six cents, and that was the general assistance fund. Thank you. Now, all in favor to approve the general assistance. Like but if the people in this room have access to the numbers that you read, and then we can ask intelligent questions. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, ma'am.
They not speaking loud enough in the mic, man. Ain't nothing I can do. Nick, I got somebody standing in front. Give me a break. You're talking about a general assistance fund. You don't tell me what to do. Thank you. Anybody else? Only half of y'all hit the like button. Half of y'all can go. Hold on, I'm going to tell you what she said. Hold on. So they just, they tried to sandbag Kiana into talking about something that don't have nothing to do with over here. She's, she's trying to talk about Lori Lightfoot over here. the dude that's the dude that told him to violate my rights that dude okay thank you all opposed Literally okay, can't, Sean. 
So next on the agenda, we're going to have um, the representative of the finance department to read the annual general fund report. He's reading a report for the fund. Jetta Dodd Brown is here. He said he's pissed off. He has his own camouflage pants, camouflage pants, and slides. Eight 
15,000, I mean 16 cents. I'm sorry, now 18,500, dollars and 16 cents. Total general fund expenditures, negative 2 million, $441,933.46. Net change in fund balance, $6,100,000. No, I'm going to like this. We're good. Just chill. A motion and a second. I'll open the floor for questions and comments. Thank you. 
kemudian kita masih biasa kerja besar itu itu dalam itu berlanjut berlanjut kita mana sepanjang yang kita dapat buat dalam ini tapi kita tak boleh buat apa apa untuk next for next for you so there is a debt
Didn't you know how many tears they fed that mom? And how many people said that many tears be happy about, you know, doing to the mother? So I just want to let you know about when you said that number. It's a big number, but there, it's touching a lot of people. Well, I was, I was talking about that one for John, we said 50,000 John Catering. I was letting you know with that. That we go to the other one too, just I'm going to know about that one. Um, the third one was on $6,132,866.76. Thank you. 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 Thank the report that was just given. Nice to finally see supervisor hanging on in person. Mm -hmm. So, so if, if I can I'm start this, this is the report. You didn't give me enough time. So, so are you an elector of the township? I'm not. Okay, then you cannot speak during this time. You can speak during regular public comments. And when is that? Insert Marty outside. I got time on I'm Carter Swatts, 15749 South Park Avenue, South Island, Illinois. In the last meeting, I was informed that there was a mental health program. Uh, I didn't hear that. Is an airline item budget for the mental health program? meetings from last year's meeting, 
we also have time to print out the agenda. Why can't we also print out the numbers associated with the annual report? That way, us as electors can make educated decisions instead of just voting on numbers that are being basically rapid fired at us. I don't think that's fair for us as, as electors, and I think that if we want civic engagement, we need to provide the data necessary to make educated decisions. That's all.
available online on the Illinois Comptroller's website. You can actually file the annually with the Illinois Comptroller. So there's no requirement under the law that they be posted on the Township website. However, they are posted on the Illinois Comptroller's website. In fact, I just looked, and the 2023 audit is on the Illinois Comptroller's website. So if people have questions about you know, prior numbers and audited numbers and what the audits have shown, you, know, you can certainly file a FOIA if you'd like, but you can also just go on the Illinois Comptroller's website and pull that information for yourself. So, yeah, been seconded, you can rescind it, and the person seconding can rescind their, their seconding. Okay, so my question is, are you saying that there's not a way for us to have to make the well, you're saying your recommendation is that we don't do it, not that there is not a way for us to post on the vote.
Can I just ask a question out there? This is not, I don't, this is not a question
Okay? I read the descendants of Ashton, and I'm sure that the majority of my constituents here uh, have the same frame of mind. Thank you. the numbers two, which we have done in the past. And for this young lady, she went and got the information in paper form within 48 hours, which we had available to everybody. So it's said that everybody ended up stacking on how to keep the paper here today to be given to them when literally all we have to do is recite the numbers two, you or B, you go get the paper from the clerk's office. I'm just telling you what the law is. It's like going to school for a test and you're not prepared. You have to go do the work. So even though we have the paper readily available, people are not going to read it that quick. So that's why you're supposed to go get within 48 hours, read it before you come to this meeting, so you're equipped and ready with questions for us. So I just want to put that out there. So we are getting clarity now from the lawyer so we can move forward, so we can conclude this uh, meeting, so we can move on with our other agenda items. Uh, I'm going to send me running, 153248 Avenue, South Hall. Uh, just a clear, clarifying question. You said that uh, this information is available at the clerk's office. Is that information also will be published online? And if it is, may I ask where I can access it online? So it's not published online? No. Okay, okay. So then, I guess, yeah, that's, that's really the only question. I believe it should be put. She's talking about you. Okay. Everybody, all of the nays, 
Put your hands up. Everybody not in favor of postponing the rules? They really are, Hannibal. They make it so much worse. That's why I'm chilling. I ain't got nothing to smile on my face. A smile on my face. <laughs> I mean, she made it obvious. She was crying when she on the internet. Again. Bears. Okay, all opposed, please put your cards up. All opposed? 
Oh, come on in. Excuse me, can we get security up here? This man just hit her, please. What? What? The department head? What? They said this dude hit this woman. They said somebody hit a woman. Keith Freeman and Jedediah have words. Keep it down, guys, so we can hear the numbers. I fuck with Jed the long way. The long way. Put 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 the jab in the chat. I fuck with jab a long way. Man. Put it in the chat.
subscribers one, two, three, four meetings, night day, April 2024. April 9, 2024, to Gary Dupuy, Highway Commissioner, from Chisney A. Hinder, Ex-Official Treasurer, Golden Bridge District. Regarding 2024, itemized statements of revenue and expenditures, as required by 605 Illinois Supply Statute 5-6-205, I respectfully submit the 2024 George Township Golden Bridge County County Report for the fiscal year March 1, 2023 to February 29, 2024. I, Sydney A. Hinder, being doing being duly sworn, don't suppose, and say that the following statement submitted by me subscribed is a true and correct statement of the amount of public funds on hand at the commencement of the fiscal year above stated. The amount of public funds received and the sources from which received and the amount of expense and purpose for which expense as set forth in the following statement. Subscribe and sworn to before me is not very April 2024. Troy Township, Rotary Bridge on Revenue, March 1, 2023 to February 29, 2024. Real estate taxes. Seven hundred twenty-one thousand seven hundred dollars and nine cents. Replacement tax: one hundred four thousand five hundred forty dollars and eleven cents. Investment income: total investment income: seventy thousand fifty-two dollars and sixty-nine cents. Other revenue: total other revenue: two hundred sixteen thousand five hundred fifty-three dollars and sixty-four cents. Total rolling bears on revenue: one million one hundred twelve thousand eight hundred forty-six dollars and fifty-three cents. Down to our and Bridge on expenses, March 1, 2023, February 29, 2024. Administration, administration expenditures, total administration expenditures, $81,071.01. Maintenance expenditures, total maintenance expenditures, $6,122.57. Permanent roll expenditures, total permanent roll expenditures, $647,723.45. Total Rotary Bridge revenue, one million one hundred twelve thousand eight hundred forty-six thousand fifty-three cents. Total Rotary Bridge expenditures, negative seven hundred thirty-four thousand nine hundred eighteen dollars and three cents. Net change in fund balance, three hundred seventy-seven thousand nine hundred twenty dollars and fifty cents. Town store and Rotary Bridge fund balance sheet, February 29, two thousand twenty-four. Assets, total assets, two million. $920,596.59. Liabilities, total liabilities, $967,293.41. Ending fund balance, $1,953,303.18. Total liabilities and fund balance, $2,920,596.59. Jordan Township, Rotary Bridge Fund, cash on hand, February 29, 2024. Cash on hand, February 28, 2023, $523,940.49. Break down of cash on hand, February 29, 2024, $865,555.10. Break down of investment on hand, February 28, 2023,1,201,947.81. Break down investment on hand, February 29, 2024, $1,257,170.74. Time to run from March 1, 2023 to February 29, 2024. Good, huh? As required by the North Carolina statute, total amount of 2023 Rotary Bridge Fund tax slate for the payment of Rotary Bridge Fund dividends and charges was $806,730.00. Total amount of town dividends as of February 29, 2024, $98,066.93. Time to run bridge. I'll stay in debt as February 29, 2024, $98,066.93. Time to run bridge on two tools, machinery, equipment with present value and assets of $200. Description $993 Beaver Creek Flat Trailer Edition Fair. Easy cash drop roller trailer for 1964 tractor with bush hawk for 1983 John Deere tractor with loader and backhoe for 2014 Ford L350 pickup truck the John Deere commercial 36 cab fair 2019 fair 2019 Ford L490 good 2018 Ford L350 good 2022 Ford L254 excellent tractor skid steer 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 
has been in John Deere tractor as in 2022 L550-554 as in a standard X more as in a buffalo trailer. Yeah. That concludes the board and board. Thank you, Robert. Is there a motion to approve the road and bridge report as read? There's a motion. Is there a second? Motion in a second. All in favor? Hold your cards up. We're going to open the floor for discussion. Any questions, comments? No question and comments?
Well, it's kind of him. He's kind of talking. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take the vote to approve the road and bridge report as read. Everybody in favor? Hold your cards up, please. Yeah, there's bigger threats all than the guy with the camera. <laughs> like there always were. Motion passed. Next on the agenda, we're going to approve the resolution, resolution authorizing disposal by public sale of personal property owned by Thornton Township. There is none, so we're going to go ahead and keep going. The next item on the agenda is for a motion to schedule the next annual town hall meeting for Tuesday, April 8th, 2025 at 6 p.m. State law mandates that the township meeting be held on the second Tuesday in April after 6 p.m. unless a different time is voted on by the electors. Okay, so Tuesday, April 8th at 6.01 p.m. It's not public comment yet. Chris Gonzalez. Um, kind of what I like to call an organic, um, you know, 
people coming out, meeting. People are here because they want to be here, because they want to know what's going on in their um, township, which, like, once again, I just think it's great. So thank you for coming out. Um, I'm not one to really, like, prepare a speech or anything like that, but I, you know, always kind of have a few points that I want to generally talk about. But for today, um, as people speak, I kind of take notes, because I want to know what people are saying. Um, so with that being said, I just want to, Robert read it three times, but just real quick, I want to read just a couple of lines here. We, the undersigned trustees and town clerk of said town of Thornton, do hereby certify that we have this day examined the foregoing account vouchers and report, etc. Um, I kind of, to piggyback on something some of the people were saying, I just, not having the correct information, it's kind of hard to do that. Because um, I basically just saw this one, you know, today as well. Yeah, so they could have been emailed to me, wasn't, you know, I guess, I, like they said, I could have went and gotten live, or not gotten live, but, you know, went to the clerk's office, but that just doesn't seem necessary, or it should be necessary for somebody who's on the board, uh, but it's just, it's hard to make decisions. I've been voting no, I don't know if anybody knows that for quite some time, or even just our meetings every two weeks, kind of based on this, that information not being properly given. In my opinion, I, you know, I'll say that, and I'm just speaking for myself right now. Um, so anyway, I heard a lot of people just kind of throwing stuff out there when some of the people were talking as far as, um, oh, this is old information, you know, we just need to vote so we can move forward. Well, no, that's really not the case. Because I don't care whether it's last year or the coming year, we need to see information such as invoices, statements, receipts. We can see it says, X, Y, Z, you know, $30,000, but what does that mean? If you're not able to see it, how do you make an educated choice on that? And like I said, I'm, you know, I, I was kind of biting my tongue here because I wanted to say, yes, I agree with people or whatever, but everybody's got to have their, you know, I don't want to interrupt anybody, that's not what we're here about. But I think, you know, just kind of sitting here and seeing that, that's what I felt that people were kind of trying to say. Um, once again, it is hard when you don't have something in front of you. Okay, we have, we have a board meeting right after this. I haven't seen any of those bills. So, once again, I'm supposed to just say yes, just because, what, why, why, I mean, the reason. You know, so, I mean, I, like I said, once again, I think that's just what the people were trying to say, and I do want to piggyback that, uh, kind of welcome to my world, in a way. You know, I, and it's not a good thing, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that to be, you know, to make a joke out of it, I'm not, you know. Um, but like I said, definitely have the same concerns as most of a lot of the citizens that are here anyway tonight, I want to say all. Um, you know, one of the other things, you know, people talk about audits and that, and there's, you know, there's different types. Um, there's one that's just simply, it says, okay, there was an XYZ check made out for $300, and that's basically all they're really looking for, to make sure there's a check that equals a dollar amount. But let's look more as what you would um, look at as more like a forensic audit, where they really dive in, take things apart, and, you know, literally line by line and go through things, and then, once again, back that up with an invoice, with a statement, whatever it might be. Um, so I've got, like I said, I could probably be here all night, but I know we've been here a while. Um, so for tonight, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, once again, I just want to thank everybody for coming out. Um, and you know, just keep going. All right, Chris. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all stuff this evening, and we've got a ton of great information. Um, but what I will say is, there's people that sit on this board, and I'm speaking of trustees and lawyers that just spoke, and said nothing or did nothing when Frank Corelli was the supervisor. Oh, <laughs>
Trina Downs is back. What we have done and what we have improved. If you want your kids to go to after school, we have after school for all. And it is free. They can learn the same thing. They can learn the same thing. They can learn everything. You out of order. Can I finish my thing? Oh, okay, thank you. So we have all those things going over at the regular location. And as it relates to food, if you are hungry, we feed any and everybody in Thor Township. So please go to our food pantry and farm. We have that. When they're perp 30, he is the comment of the night. We take you for free. <laughs> These are all the things we do here for the township. Free to revenue. You have to pay anything. That's what people don't tell you. But yet, we have a surplus. So that's what I want to educate the public on. Stop listening to people that just negative and come and get some points and the facts for yourself. And that way you will know what to do with the information because you are benefiting from your residents. You. We have served over 10,000 people in GA alone now last year. Y'all want to have an opinion on numbers like that, so I can't. That shows you that we really want to service our community. And in doing so, we have cut costs and we have Basically, created a surplus, but that's what you're, you're missing because you're so in the mess that you're forgetting the fact of what we really are producing here for a township. We are a family, despite what you may think or say. That's what we are. We can help each other, not hurt each other. And it's a shame that us, us, I'm talking about black and brown community. <laughs> 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 <laughs>